that when Jesus first breaks on the scene, yes, he's moving in signs and wonders. And he considers that's very important as an ex expression of the kingdom of God, of compassion and kindness. But people are amazed at the way that he talks. Can you imagine that? It's easy to think like, okay, you've got some kid's sack lunch and you managed to feed thousands of people. Color me astonished. That's amazing. There was a person who was dead and now they're not. That's amazing. But people were remarking at 12 years old, not by the miraculous works that he was doing, but the way that he could teach and communicate. That's amazing, they would say. And do you remember the way they described his teaching in like the beginning of Mark and, and right before he starts casting out demons and stuff? They say he teaches, he doesn't teach like one of our teachers. We have these scribes and these, these experts at the law. He doesn't teach like those guys. He teaches like somebody who has authority. And you think about that phrase because in school, you'll go to school and you'll take some level of literature classes and you'll read these books by authors who are probably long since dead and you'll speculate and pontificate. What does that mean? The, the eyeballs in The Great Gatsby, what does that mean? Does it mean that F. Scott Fitzgerald wore glasses or is it the eyes of God staring down in judgment as the Roaring Twenties? F. Scott didn't say anything, man. To my knowledge, he didn't say like, oh, that's what the eyes mean. Wink, wink, nod, nod. The eyes mean that thing, you know? That's what that, that's what, the yellow car means bananas. You know, like, he doesn't explain it, but we spend time and fill halls and have lectures. What does this mean? But can you imagine if good old F. Scott just came to your class and be like, oh yeah, that would be a good use of that image. I didn't think about it. Or it's exactly like that. It's exactly like the eyes of God. You got it straight on. How relieving that would feel. All the debates ended and the author spoke to the intention of the writer. And that's the way Jesus taught. Like settle, settle your disputes with the law of the Lord. I'm going to tell you what it actually meant because I was there when it was written. Because I was the one who actually came up with the idea and put it down. I was the one who breathed inspiration into this prophetic writer and had them record an image that I came up with. I was the one that was there governing history forward as these men and women were crafting this work that we would pour over and discuss and devote hours to so that way we could know the Lord. I was there, and I'm going to teach it to you with authority. That's a beautiful thing, man. 